folks, welcome back to Trini Out and About here again. Today edition we do we are doing is a chicken pillar recipe. My chicken pillar recipe. So you guys should check this out. Really nice pillow, sticky. This is the pillow that you should try. Everyone's like my every everyone who had taste my pillow loved it. So you need to check this out, guys. Right? My version, my recipe, Trini style. Right? Let me see how this back here again. Uh, we have put up in the stove already. Um I'm going to show you the ingredients that I use for the pillow. Right guys, remember we just posted the, the cooking videos because remember it's locked down now so you can't do much, you can't go anywhere, we can't like no, you know, no beaches, no rivers, no street food, no, you know, that we're trying to stay out the road as much as we could. So we just show you a little cooking recipe, you know, some, we got a lot of requests from the comments and people, you know, people are glad to see the menu, you know, that people try things before they didn't, it didn't came out good. And they tried my way and uh, you know the the said it was impressive way it came out so we just show you a little recipe how we doing it um a simple little trini style cooking right guys so let me see what we have here so we have the one season one chicken season right we have some of the veggies cut up here the vegetables we have you know mince some garlic here there's some sive carrot golden ray pimento hot pepper onions and tomato right um we'll be using this green pigeon peas i use the green the dry pigeon peas also but i prefer the green pigeon peas i find it um it tastes a lot better i find it a nicer piece than the dry pigeon peas i'm not saying the dry pigeon peas is not good the dry pigeon peas is excellent also but i prefer the green pigeon peas right so let me see how this goes we have a pot hot in here you're going on add we sugar and now this on it caramelize so i will show you how step by step how we're doing it um no, usually i do skew it with oil i just paint a little oil this time right not much just a little bit and let that hot a little bit here now and when we start to show you the right so we're going to show you the sugar here now Right, so that was seven tablespoon that we throw in. It's not a big tablespoon, it's a, a kind of medium sized tablespoon. Set that up for so far. Because remember guys, you want to you want to have your pillow come out a nice golden brown color. You don't want to come out as white color. Remember if you're stewing chicken, it's less sugar. But if you're making pillow, it's a little extra sugar. Also, same thing as the meat when you season the meat. You always put a little extra salt in the meat. That come in for the rice. Remember, the rice will be absorbing a lot of the salt, right? So you add a little extra sugar for the pillow and the extra salt and the extra little seasoning for the it, 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 what's this pillow? Right. So this sugar, let me leave the sugar to caramelize here, and um, we'll get back to you with that. Okay, folks. So we back again here. The sugar is so the stew now you're just feeling the sugar to feel the sugar light. Once you feel the sugar heavy in the pot still is there, but you still have to melt a little bit. I added a little extra sugar about a tablespoon again extra less now. Once you feel like nothing in the pot like this, that is how you sugar caramelize. It, 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 it. Oh guys, I like my, as I said, I like my pillow to come out a little darkish, not that light, light color. So it's so nice to look here now. It will get, it will turn a lot more golden brown to more darkish brown on it and the water go down a little bit. Um, and next other tip guys, if you think you try uh, like you don't try enough sugar to get it that color, what they could do, a trick I learned and I realize it, I it, it happens a lot with me sometimes they throw a little less sugar. All it does like every so often, more than usual, let's keep turning the chicken, turning it, turning the meat, and they will see what's gonna get 
it was like a lot more color than it just leaving it and just turn it two three times until the first water keep turning like every three minutes four minutes just keep turning turning like this and it will get a nice color it will come in you can let when the water burns down also you can also let go down and let more fry in the stew so it will even get a little more darker brown that's only if you throw a little less sugar and the animal is done already cooking already I will, I will burn more sugar and add a tape I will just work it from the animal will fine to me right so the chicken the chicken guys we season it we season it with some um i will tell you the season i'll be using the chicken we use some salt we use the sars and tropical all purpose seasoning we use some maggi all purpose black pepper and that's it um yeah i think that was it the salt the maggi the all purpose and the black pepper and the green and the fresh green seasoning and that's what we season it right so as i say when you season the meat season with a little extra salt for pillow so we'll get when you by the time you throw in the rice and everything boil the rice will get the salt from the chicken also right so we'll see how that goes when this go down a little bit here we'll come back to you again we'll add in the rice we'll add in the vegetables all right stay tuned all right guys so we had the pillow here back again cooking water you see the water coming you see a nice color now now this will be a little too dark if it's stew chicken eh this color is just perfect for pillow see the chicken must be looking a little more darker than for stew for if you're making pillow right this is my recipe for pillow right we have the, the brown rice here about two cups of brown rice wash already and we will show you on the training that now so this chicken will be coming out here now in about a couple of minutes time a few minutes to train the rice right so guys i train the rice first then the vegetables because i want the rice get the color and not as the vegetables to take up the color i put the rice in first and then we'll put the vegetables right so in a few minutes we will be ready to train the rice hi folks we're back again probably about three minutes now the sugar is sticking already there yeah? But I was saying, you always, um, if you find anything enough sugar, you can always like, go down like this to, to get more color in the stew. So this is perfect, all the fresh water burn on here already. It's just really the oil that you made now. So we're turning the rice first. That's only about two cups of rice. That's okay for about six hours to the final one. Because I'm going to Right, so this this rice with a little water now. I know some of you all don't wash brown rice. Some just wash it, it's preferable to you. It's up to you where you want to do with it. If you want to wash it or not to wash it. Right? So we'll let us go down here. Let this water go down from the rice, like when we the chicken. Then we will train our vegetables. Right? Right folks, we're back here again. I don't know if you can hear this, but you hear the rice crackling through the you see rice chicken already with the chicken. That's how nice you guys get with the color. Right? So you see I didn't train any vegetables yet. Now I'm going to train the vegetables. Train the green pigeon peas. This is the green pigeon peas. I look in the can, right? I must have prefer the green pigeon peas. Dry pigeon peas are good too, but I prefer the green one. I think I have the bowl on here also. You hear that crackling sound, so it's everything frying up in a nice. Last one out of the water. 
که اصلا معتبه نیستی بیزن بولن این هم که گاله کرده نیست امادی نایی بده خیلی هایی تو این بولن تو ماد Aí você se olha assim. Aí vai ali que tá lá, tá no outro aí. Eu vou treinar que tá lá. Aí eu aí eu always use, I always use hot water when I cook in with everything. You know, it cook it cook faster everything does. Last time on the stove everything. Aí guys, so vai ali pelar o cook in aí. When you train the water, um, one thing with pilau, I know you, a, a lot of you might be saying, nah, that is, that, is, that is not pilau without that. But I don't use the coconut milk and pilau. Right? Um, I cook my pilau just without any coconut milk. Trust me, it, it, you don't miss the coconut milk. It, it, to me, it don't taste no different. I, try, I, I don't fancy the coconut milk in pilau. I love coconut milk, but I don't fancy it in the pilau. And I don't think the pilau does miss it. So this is my version, my version of the, the pilau, right? So if you want to add the coconut milk, no problem, but I don't put it. Right guys, so stay tuned, I'll be back shortly again. All right folks, it's about two minutes, three minutes after. So everything bubbling nice here now. We don't actually got water in. Maybe with the hot water, the rice, the rice, so it's at a boil already there one time, the rice at a boil one time. It wouldn't get, it be like a kind of sappy, sap, sappy watery taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's have a high heat guys, so the size of the pot now. You know, don't eat out the right. Right, it's sticking the bottom of the clay, take it out a little bit, scrape it out one time. There's only stew on the thing to the bottom there, the thing in. But um, what cook earlier in the rest without the water. So you see it here, folks, right? Looking, you see everything floating garlic, tomato, onion, everything. That's what cook down, everything will cook down. I make my pilau sticky, real sticky. I do like dry, dry pilau, I like a saucy pilau also. I don't like that dry, dry, dry pillow. Some of you guys will agree with me. Nothing like a saucy, wet, sticky pillow. Guys, right, so you see that nice, what, what color it came out to? Real nice color with the extra sugar. It didn't come out too white. Just perfect, perfect, perfect. Right? This is Trini style pillow. My Trini style way of pillow. Right? Stay. All right, folks, so we're going to check one the pillow here now. Remember guys, when it's really full, when it's really rice, the first set of that does absorb the water very fast, eh? So you need to check the pillow a few times. When you think that the rice, they start to pull the full set of water very fast as well. You see all the water went down there a lot already. So nice it come What you call already? Real nice color. Folks, so you're coming along nice here so far. We're gonna get thicker, nice. And I will share one of my my ingredients I put when the pillow finish. Trust me, that is the that does enhance the whole pillow. We will believe. We'll show you that later down. Later down on the video, you'll see that when it, when you rise. That is a, that is about probably about five minutes before you finish. All right, so let us boil up it again. We'll leave the cover off. That's the monitor the water now. We are the kettle hot with water again. We'll train that just now. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we back here again. The water going now is about probably about probably about eight minutes. The rice started to stick to the bottom, you would see it here. And if you will notice, you see the rice sticking here. So we don't really want the rice to stick too much. We'll train the water again. So that's the guys when you train the hot water. 
See that the bubble already, so you ain't wasting no much time. And um, and we got this um, so that bubble here now. This should be enough water. Cause the rice looking good texture already. Right, so stay tuned. You see how that goes again. Then. Hey guys, so before we close off, we want to send some love. We want to send some shout out. So uh, to some of our subscribers, the people who comment a lot, who like our videos and things, and uh, people who can't wait for us to add up the videos, you know, we get some feedback that people, they just wait for a, a video to upload just to, to view it. So we want to send our love to those people. And, you know, I'm going to say much thanks, many thanks to you all. Because it's because of you all, you're helping our channel grow a lot, right? And we are thankful for that. Right, guys? So we want to call out some names here who we have that, we're gonna send some shout out to and send some love to from Trini out and about and the crew. Um, we have Zahir Ali, right? He don't miss none of our videos. We wanna big him up, send love to him. Also, Marshall Ramrup, we wanna send love to him. Um, Trini Natia boys. Um, he also have a page on YouTube, a channel on YouTube. Check out this channel, guys. Lots of places to go. Like he go, he lives at Toko Matura. So you will see a lot of rivers, a lot of fishing beaches. Um, all his adventure with him. Check him out. A good. I I subscribe to him. I also view all his videos. Right, Trini. Um, Trini Nitya boys. Then we have also oh, next channel all to, to visit guys. Um, Trinbago Outer Bushman. A uh, very nice guy. Real down to it. He do a lot of videos. He go a lot of places in Trinidad. All over Trinidad. He showcases you know, the fishing, the camping, the outdoor activities. Um, check out his channel, guys. Trinbago Outer Bushman. Then we also have, we want to send love to Abby Mohan. We want to send love to Leah Becha. We want to send love to Karen Gadu. Right? She comments a lot and she always, always views. She want to try the new recipes I do. Um, cool Kid D. Um, Star and Daniel. Um, also Master Blaster 3K1. Also Maylene, Maylene and all. Um, she always comment a lot on so Maylene Lewis and we have Angel Star who always comment a lot so we want to thank you guys so much for making our channel grow and keep viewing we'll always try to put up as much videos as we could right so we want to send all we love to you all right from Trini out and about love any house okay folks so while the pillow is cooking we're going to do a quick salad here same salad you will see my previous videos um, for all who didn't see it I just want to show you there's a quick salad Cut the cucumber in half, you wash out the skin and it's good, right? Cut out the top and the bottom and you cut it in little strips like this. And then you just slice, real small. You're making a salad, the same salad I make with the cucumber, tomatoes, cabbage, and a pound onion in it, finely chopped. I just have a idea with the cucumber, guys, right? We should want the tomatoes, the tomatoes are just washed already. Finely sliced. You see how cut the, the tomatoes are like in one, two, three, and four pieces, right? One, two, three, four, five. Six, so then up to seven pieces. So this is all it is here. We had a cucumber cut up just now here. Right? Right, so we're gonna chop the onions now. I might take out the core of the onion, right? The core of the onion. I want to get the high onion taste. So take out the core of the onion. Same thing again, finely diced. So you should be able to see the onion. And you bite it, let's get our onion flavor. For all of those who like those who don't like onion, you do have to use it. I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't use it. I say finely chopped. Put that in the bowl also. And there's the cabbage wash here. And you just shred any cabbage. Fine. Cuts you again, all fine. 
You see my slippers so much as fine, that's fine. I try to do not thick, right? This is like a pure amount of cabbage, I just cut it up. So fill the cabbage. Right, so we have everything cut up here. We added a bit of the grind, the grind seasoning. We added some black pepper. You can add hot pepper if you want to also. Some salt. I see you can add the hot pepper and make it like a chow. Cover the next basin. Right? This is the salad, guys. Nice chow we kind of look in salad. You can add extra garlic if you want, extra pepper. As I say, but this is perfect here. My bad guys, you can always make a cold slaw. Well, I'm going to do that cool slow also. I just don't feel like that cool slow. So for the fresh salad. Hey guys, you can re foil this, refrigerate it, and that's it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so before we close off, we want to send some love. We want to send some shout out so, uh, to some of our subscribers, the people who comment a lot, who like our videos and things, and people who can't wait for us to add up the videos. You know, we get some feedback that people. They just wait for a, a video to upload just to, to view it. So we want to send our love to those people. And you know, I'm going to say much thanks, many thanks to you all. Because it's because of you all, you're helping our channel grow a lot. Right? And we are thankful for that. Right guys, so we want to call out some names here. Who we have that we want to send some shout out to and send some love to from Trini Out and About. And the crew. Um, we have Zahir Ali. Right? He don't miss none of our videos. We want to big him up, send love to him. Also, Marshall Ramroop, you want to send love to him. Um, Trini Natia Boys, um, he also have a page on YouTube, a channel on YouTube. Check out this channel, guys. Lots of places to go. Like, he go, he lives at Toko Matura. So, you will see a lot of rivers, a lot of fishing beaches. Um, all his adventure with him. Check him out. A good, I, I subscribe to him. I also view all his videos, right? Trini, um, Trini Natia Boys. Then we have also next channel all to, to visit, guys. Um, Trinbago out of Bushman. A uh, very nice guy. Real down to it. He do a lot of videos. He go a lot of places in Trinidad. All over Trinidad. He showcases you know, the fishing, the camping, the outdoor activities. Um, check out the channel, guys. Trinbago out of Bushman. Then we also have, we want to send love to Abby Mohan. We want to send love to Leah Becher. We want to send love to Karen Gadu. Right? She comments a lot and she always, always views. She want to try the new recipes I do. Um, cool Kid D, um, Star and Daniel, um, also Master Blaster 3K1, also Maylene, Maylene and all. Um, she always comment a lot, and all Maylene Lewis. And we have Angel Star who always comment a lot. So we want to thank you guys so much for making our channel grow. And keep viewing. We will always try to put up as much videos as we could. Right? So we want to send all we love to you all. Right from Trini out and about. Love any house. Alright guys, so we're going to take back the pillow here now. This was the second water we threw in. You can see how nice it's looking here now. See rice is so far nice. I like so far nice and pillow. I don't like that grainy, grainy rice. Right, it's a little too much water still, but the rice texture is looking good. Right from there guys, sometimes when you're cooking, as I said with the extra salt, sometimes I still add to add salt after. So you gonna take our taste test here. Taste it if you to add a little salt, a little maggie, wherever the case may be. You don't wanna you don't wanna overpower, overpower you do too much of the powder seasoning, right? So that's one of the nice local Caribbean treaty taste. Right, so here we go add 
I tell you, go at some side, right? So guys, I this is the sign I bought at the market. I buy sign only, not with the only pass, any time and I cut it up, not process it or blend it. Cut it up and I put it to freeze and I will show you how this look. Watch how this look frozen. If the side remain fresh, 100 percent fresh, and watch how easy it comes out. Like guys, when you cut it up, it's how loose it becomes real fast. Right? So we just throw some of this. This is the fresh sieve here. It, 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 trust me, don't mind it frozen. It's like fresh sieve. So when you get sieve, you know, in a bundle, like, like in a bundle, a big bundle, reasonable, you buy, you cut it up in the cutting, in the chopping board, not, not blend it, not process it. Eh? Cut it up and pack it in a bowl and freeze it, and it's so loose it will come out. And next guy, and next idea, guys, for all who who live, you know, that who work in, you know, it about not not everyone can use fresh seasoning because. A lot of people work in, uh, you know, at eight to five job and the time they reach home at six o'clock, seven o'clock to cook something fast. They can't run at the market, they can't do these things. So these things is all ideas for you to do if you're wanting like fresh side. Also grind seasoning. If you blend season or process it, you put it in ice tray and you freeze it. And when it's frozen, now you take out the cubes, put it in bag and freeze and next set again. And you have it in cubes. So when you cook it, you just take out that cube and you cook. Also with tomatoes, when you get tomatoes cheap, they buy it, they cut it in like quarters and they put it in a bag and froze. As they knock the bag, all the tomatoes will free up and you can get the tomato. So guys, that is so guys like who folks who work in, you know, nine to five, eight to five, my time we reach home at six o'clock, seven o'clock. Let's cook a quick dinner or a quick lunch for the next day. Frozen, you could use it frozen and these little, little ideas you could do with the frozen stuff, right? We get we we froze we freeze a lot of stuff, especially for the dwell. Then we cut we get mango from now we cut up mango pay to freeze. We cut up, we peel bref, um, shatine, we peel it, clean it, freeze it. Same thing with pumpkin, cut it up, freeze it. Alright okay, guys, so it's a nice idea you could use. Right, so the pillow is nearly finished here now. You can see how it look, what is sticky. You see the front this side now, with the green hanging on top of it. Now guys, this is the, this is the, the, the secret ingredient I'm telling you about I use. Trust me, it enhances the pillow. The sauce, everything, it, the whole pillow change the effect with that. And it's a simple, simple thing, guys. Ketchup. You put some ketchup in the pillow. It's probably about a full pot spoon of ketchup. Like this. This will change your whole pillow, trust me. The sauce will get even thicker. Everything will get just pull together nice, you get a nice um you don't taste the ketchup here, but you get a nice the, the ketchup throw throws out a great flavor in in pillow. I, I know I heard some people say ketchup in pillow, I don't know if they're talking about eating it with ketchup, eating the pillow with ketchup, but I cook as the finishing touch of the pillow. A little ketchup. So the pillow all that's all the water that's get there. But just pillow guys. Really nice. You see the color? It was about probably about eight tablespoons of sugar put. But I tell you, it's a small tablespoon, not the broad mouth tablespoon. I want you to pull out the, the color in the pillow. This is two cups of rice with a small, one whole small chicken. Right? So you can see real nice color. This is the color you're looking for. I don't like the white, white pillow. Right? So you will take a taste here. See how this goes with here with this? I say folks, I'm going to add some salt. Eat this a little bit. So nice and sticky, this pillow come and watch. It's not runny, it's not saucy. The taste of guys, I just need a little bit of salt again. A little bit of maggi and mix this here, and I believe that should be it. All right, guys, so this is my version, my recipe for a Trini pillow. First, let me try it my way. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below if you try it my way and see how it come out. 
trust me, it will be the best tasting pilau you would eat, offer somebody, and they would hear for themselves what to see. One of the best pilau. My mom, all them cook pilau, but everybody when they wait, when they hear I cook a pilau, everybody don't cook for daddy. They just want to eat my pilau, right? Right, guys? So this would be it here, right? Finished product here, we're turn on the stove. And that's it. Right, guys? So remember, we always have videos coming up every day. We always have, we try to load as much as we could every day. The only reason we loading, we uploading a lot of cooking recipes, but cooking videos and recipes, we can't do nothing much in the lockdown. So we'll try to entertain you guys with a little cooking and all the line. Wifey was sleeping, I wish she was with my wife, any kids were sleeping. She not too long wake up there, so that will just try to cook lunch and let's do a quick video for you guys, right? So this pillow average take about, my how I leave it to take, cook a little extra, it probably take about, like about, 40 minutes to cook, 45 minutes average. Right? Okay, let me pull out, take your time and cook. I don't rush the pull out. Right, guys? So, please subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Check out our Facebook page, Trini Out and About, also. Right? We have a lot of videos up. We have probably about 20 something, 27 videos up already. You can check out all those videos, too, guys. Check it out, like them, comment, you know, any little thing. You gotta find out. If you have something to cook and you want to retry it and all, like if you live living abroad and you know you can't get the ingredients there and you just want to cook it and you want to see, you know, see it cook on our menu today, trust me, I could cook anything, anything I could cook. So let me know where you want it, what way you want. We'll try to get it and we'll make a little video with it. Right, guys? So stay safe. Let's be careful, guys. Try not to go out too much. Stay safe. Stay more indoors as much as you could. Right? And... We will be back again with another video. Why, if you say she has pizza to make, we want to make some chicken pow. All the things we want to make, so probably we will try to make these things come and for the later on a week or something. So probably for this week or two weeks, we will try to do more cooking videos for you all. Um, and that's it, right guys? So as much as we could, we could try to entertain you guys. So as I say guys once more, many thanks to all our viewers, many thanks to all our subscribers. Um, you know, Sun, Sunday at post up, we reached 100 milestone mark. Today we, crossed, um, today we crossed 200 subscribers and more. So we thank you all for your support and thank you all for viewing. Right? Stay tuned. Stay tuned for up upcoming videos. Right? Stay safe. We out.